Hello, and welcome back to my playthrough of Pokemon Maze. In the last episode, I think, we got our first gym. I think we completed our first gym battle and got our first... No, no, we have two badges. Apologies. Oh, yeah, we got yeah we got our second badge from the ground-type gym in Agate City. Okay. We also uh, caught several new Pokemon, if I remember correctly. Uh, we also went down, met up with Carl, got the old rod, helped some people out with their uh, with their uh, fishing. Did I talk to Tara after doing that? Thanks for helping that family get their keys back. I don't know if I did, just did it then. It's been a while since I've recorded, so um, yeah, I'm a bit, might need a little bit of time just to get back up to speed. But I'm pretty sure the reason that I was going down here is because... We also, the important thing I think was we got HM01 being cut. And finally having cut, it should allow us to progress certainly to this area. And we can talk to here. Ah, you found me. Leave me alone, you're not a shrubber. Anyway, so we're going to cut down this using the Weeping Bell. And we'll see what Pokemon we can find down here. We've got Oddish. Now, do I have an Oddish? I do not know. Well, let's see, Pokedex. Do I have an Oddish? I don't. Okay, so I should have got that. Oh well. Wandered around. We obviously got one of them. Uh, do I have anything useful? DV ball. Okay. Cool. Another Nidoran. Good. Why don't think you getting that uh, crit? Thunderbolts. A polywag. Do I have a polywag? I don't think I do. Let's go Thunder Wave. And then we'll go Quick Attack. I'm confused. I'm hurting myself in confusion. That's always annoying. We'll use Quick Attack. And obviously I knock it out. Okay. Quick Attack. Don't knock it out. Thank you. Let's go for it. Poke a Oh, there we go. Okay, so we've caught an Oddish, the weed Pokemon. Okay, and now I'm going to head back and uh, go back up here and heal up once more. Get back Pikachu because Pikachu needs to start learning some le Well, needs to start getting some levels. The issue for Pikachu is that it's just got such low defense that it's got low defense, and at the moment it's special, it's not high enough to even take out Pokemon, as you just saw there. Even that Hoot Hoot, to which it is super effective, it couldn't take out in one move. Wow! Way to cut down that bush. Thank you, young Silver Diglett. Bad Pokemon for Pikachu. So we'll go to Weeping Bell and we'll use Vine Whip and take it out. Pikachu's up to level 18, that's good. I'm gonna go back into Pikachu just for experience sake. Another Vine Whip takes out the Diglett. These guys seem to be a a bit lower levels. Pretty sure we were facing level 20 levels earlier. My mom doesn't trust me with an HMO1. Okay. So, we've got another Oddish. I'm going to go to Growlithe and use Ember because Growlithe also, you know, just giving everyone uh, experience is always a good idea. Another Thunder Shock takes out that. We obviously have. Already caught a bell sprout, so there's no need to worry about that one. I want to see another polywag though. That would be pretty cool. Are you going to allow me to do that game? That is the question. Or maybe it was like in the daytime, and now it's night. Okay. Summing as much as my brother when I beat you. Try not to cry as much as my brother, I think is what he said. Uh, I saw try as much, or something like that. No, he's got level 13 Nidoran. We'll just use Thunder Shock. These guys are not much higher at all than the uh, Pokemon around in terms of their level. We'll keep Pikachu in, and then we'll go to Radicate. Uh, and Swift should take you out. Pikachu's gonna get hurt. No, it doesn't get hurt. Okay, that's good. Go to uh, uh, Eradicate. Take out the Raditor. That was so cheap. Ugh. Everyone is a whiner but me, he says, whining. Ah, uh, yes, do I have an antidote? No, I don't, so I'd better go and heal up. 
technically. Pikachu's probably going to faint, um, which isn't going to be great for Pikachu, but there we go. We shall heal and Pikachu. And we'll head down. Did we get the shoes last time? Is that what we did as well? Can't remember. Good, stay asleep, stay asleep. There we go. Pikachu's up to level 19. Stay asleep. Despite being thunderbolted. Okay, thank you. Yes, we did. We got the shoes. So then I can walk around at a faster pace without having to fast forward. Good. We've already done you two. Okay, let's keep looking around here. See if we can find any... Uh... Poliwag is a good shout, I would say. We should also do this battle here. But first of all, we must face off against another wild Nidoran. Take it out. I used to be good friends with Blandy. Or see the gym leader. Uh, that we defeated a while back then. Vine Whip should hopefully hit, does hit twice, which is good news. We defeat her. He was boring. They stuck Blandy in the Nickel City gym to spare normal civilians from his boringness. How's that for some lore? There's TM32, which is. Double team. Okay, cool. Oh yeah, let's do the battling, yeah. Okay. Yeah, the face of it is level 14 Grimer. Oof, that was good. And Thundershock should take that out. Good. Good, we get the paralysis, that's always wonderful. Pikachu's up to level 20, which is good. Good levels for Pikachu. Three against that. Oh nine! I can't believe you beat me, yeah. Excuse my appalling German accent. Uh, we will have to see if we can get a problem. That is my sister over there, yeah. He's got a rat at level 16, so let's use Thundershock and take him out in two. Nine! Nine! Sorry, I'll stop using that fake accent now. Okay. So does it mean your f sister was also faking? No. Yeah, probably. Ooh, Wild Vulpix. Uh, we don't have one of these. And uh, it takes me out, of course it does. Uh, why don't you go weak and dark? Despite being weak, we'll use sleep powder and hopefully Pokeball will land it. It does! We get a Vulpix. Time! The Fox Pokemon. I don't want to name you because you've already got a Fire Pokemon on our team. Fidgy! Well, some Pokemon that, you know, Pikachu could kill. Do we have a Fidgy? Surely we've got a Fidgy. Yeah, we did. Just making sure. Uh, obviously, there are battles there that we will do, but uh, I'm just going to head off this way for the moment, get to a Pokemon Center so I can heal up. Uh, I want to go around these guys. Uh, we'll try and... Okay, okay, so we can't do this one. Go, Butterbee! Was it Freed Room? So this guy's got, evidently, a Butterbee, and he's got a Beedrill. So this time we'll go to Growler and Ember. But catch it, not Butter Drill. I can never get names straight. Evidently. We'll dip down here and we will cut through. Let's see what Pokemon awaits us down here. It's still another Pidgey. So. New, new music? Let's have a listen. Music in this game is continuing to be awesome, I'm not gonna lie, I like that a lot. We will heal up. Apologies for ruining it, I forgot going into a Pokemon Center would do that. Anyway, we'll head back here uh, and we'll go do those battles that obviously we missed out on. Uh, one of them is this. I take pride in guarding, in guarding this ledge thing, says the junior trainer, with a bell sprout. We'll go to Growler. And it's confused me with Sweet Kiss, that's annoying, but there we go, hit it once, hit it twice. And it's got a Vulpix, sorry, it, he, has a Vulpix, at least under wave. Uses Ember, of course it does. Uh, and obviously it burns me, of course it does. 
Come on, quick attack. Nope. Ember takes me out. And Swift will just... There we go. Not happy. Nobody uses this ledge thing without speaking to me first. Well, evidently not, because we managed to get by with it, past that guy without talking to him the first time around. Anyway, uh, enough from that. So we will continue. Uh, we'll go down here again. Over to you. Wild, Wild Houndower. Okay, cool. Okay, we want to paralyze you, and then we want to use thunder. That should not kill you. Good, and now Pokeball. Yes, Houndara is caught the dark Pokemon. Is that a skull on his head? Sure looks like it. It eats Cubone for dinner. I did. I'm pretty sure that's. That sounds like something that he's added and not something that's actually in the Pokedex. Besides, it would be odd for a fire Pokemon to eat a ground Pokemon person. Is that. No. I have no idea. Maybe it's. Maybe. It's Pokemon logic, I don't know. But nonetheless, okay, so obviously Houndour is the new Pokemon down here. Um, we'll look at this person. Standing between fences and rocks is fun! Apparently. Bad news for her, using her Poliwag. We take it out using Pikachu. I rock at fencing. Maybe I should pick up a rock climbing. I can't look out there's just like a long series of Really bad puns. Anyway, uh, we'll use Thunderbolt some more. We'll take on this guy. Is it true that Arbor Hollow is pitch black? Not when you've got a flash. So, we will use Vine Whip to take out this guy and his Weeping Bell wants to learn Stun Spore, which we won't learn. Sleep Powder is better than some Stun Spore for the moment. It's a good Pikachu. For the mud shot, but Karate Chop does hit, which is annoying. Thunder Shock and Karate Chop. Fighting through the paralysis a lot here, but we there we go. Defeat him there and foo foo foo, he says. I heard that. Or oh, for you, depending on how you see it. Alba Hollow's Card P is super thick. Okay, we'll take on this battle now. You dead. Lass wants to fight, she's got a Jigglypuff. Uh, we'll go Hyper Fang and take it out in one hit. Nice work. Raticate. Wants to learn Crunch. Crunch is better than Quick Attack. It's a Dark type move. Uh, I, is Dark super effective against Fairy? No, it's not effective against Fairy. So, there we go. Last. Me. Dead. 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 She's a bit weird. Okay, so more. Random pigeons and stuff. We'll do this battle. My Beedrill will learn X Scissor someday. Interesting. So let's see a new move they've added in. Uh, Hyper Fang missed first time, but hit second time. We will now go to a Growlithe and an Ember. I'm assuming he does have a Beedrill, otherwise, one of is talking about. There we go. Growlithe grew to level 23. Poison Stun. Apparently, Beedrill learns some decent moves in this game. Uh, I mean, in this world. Okay, that's all of the battles around here. So now all we're really looking for is, um... Poliwag. Which obviously we met, but have not managed to capture. That might be because it's now daytime, and maybe Poliwag only appear at night. I say that, and there is my Poliwag. So, what we're going to do, we're going to go Weeping Bell. We're going to go Sleep Powder. There we go. I'm not going to save because I'm worried that Cut is actually going to take this guy out. So we're going to save current game. We're going to use Cut. Cut does not take him out. That's good. Sleep Powder. Stop hurting yourself in confusion. There we go. Okay, you can keep using Bubble for another three turns. There we go, Sleep Powder does hit, we can use a Pokeball, Poliwag, it's caught, we get the Tadpole Pokemon, and that's pretty much everything I think that we wanted in this area, so we'll zip back round. Some Swifts, of course, now we get all the Pokemons. Uh, where were we? Oh, there's a Pokemon there, I never noticed that. What about you? Look, a Mama Charmander and a Baby Charmander, I want to catch one. 
Pokemaniac sent out Diglett. Crunch. And Sandshrew. Crunch. Just because it's different. Eradicates up to 24. He wants one. I bet the mother is very protective. Looks like we can get to them if we follow that route up there. Um, so we will cut. I'm going to go heal up. Oh, time. So we started. Okay. So let's go. Oh, woohoo! God, trainer spotted. So get a Nidoran again. We we'll use Pikachu. I hope he will start, you know, getting some decent moves. Well, I say moves, some decent stats. There we go, takes out Nidorina. Beep! Android SB129 functioning. Okay, let's talk to this guy. This cave. It's part of a parallel system called the Mesa Tunnels. Might well be like the uh, the end game bits of this uh, game. I don't know. I've got a Weeping Bell because and then I can at least resist his Machop's attacks. He's got a Flahy! So okay, I think we'll stick with Weeping Bell. Uh, we use Vine Whip. It's obviously not super effective, but their weak, well, their attacks is not very effective against me. They close off this entrance to stop weak things from entering, like you. Cheers. So, uh, we're now going to cut through here, and there is the Charmander. Okay. This might be like an event thing, so I think I'm going to save. Might actually just check. Ah, damn, didn't mean to do that. Oh well. At least it's not too far. Just wanted to check some things. Okay, uh, so yeah, so we'll save again. The Mama Charmander is eyeing you. She looks rather sick. Yuck! She just conveniently spit up a slimy firestone. A baby Charmander dramatically popped out from behind the mama to protect her from you. So it's a little baby Charmander. And it's asleep. Why has it started off asleep is the big question. Gonna, it's obviously only... I don't have no idea what level it is if it's asleep. Um... Let's go for it. Nope, okay, it broke free. <laughs> nice. Still fast asleep, so it's probably a higher, higher level than I think then. Um, let's go to Growlithe well, as a fire type as well. Still fast asleep. Is it gonna take it down? Yes, it is, okay, so it's weak. Okay. Okay, I do want to try and catch this Charmander, so I want to see. Uh, okay, so it's level 5. Okay. Um, so you know, only quick attack from Pikachu is probably the best attack for this. Um, we use Sleep Powder. And then um, we'll swap to Pikachu. Okay, fine, we'll go up. Quick attack. Okay, so that's taking an hour as well. Do I have any attacks that will actually not? Kill the Charmander is the big question. Thundershock. We'll take it out. Okay. I should probably save before the text. Uh, nonetheless. Oh no, wait! That survived. Stupid. Didn't it? Did I have one? Oh no, that was me. I was looking at my health. Great. Well done, mate. Genius. Nat. Okay. Um, Radicate will be too high attack. Weeping Bell... Maybe Vine Whip? Being... Uh, no. Okay, so I have no attacks that I'll actually... Uh, unless I go to Magikarp or... Well, Magikarp won't be able to do anything, but unless I go to like Machop at level 10 and try and... But I don't want to use him, so that's... Okay, let's go to Weeping Bell. Let's put it to sleep. Um... That sort of thing. So we've got Pokeball, we've got Shiny Ball. I'm gonna say here again. Let's see. Okay, so. so it escapes three Pokeballs and. 
the shiny ball. And the great ball. The great ball is obviously the best choice, probably. Let's see. And the Oh no, we catch it in the DV ball, which is a bit unfortunate, I guess, because um, that means it's going to have really good stats, but I'm not going to be able to use it. Oh well, that's not that much of an issue. Obviously, he prefers hot places. So it's the lizard Pokemon. Do I want to give a nickname? No. The Mama Charmander is looking down in sadness. You took away the one thing she loves. Brutal. Making me feel for a Charmander I've barely just met. So yeah, so that Charmander is actually going to have really good stats according to what the DV ball should do. Which is annoying, because, you know... You know, I can't actually use it. Okay, well, we're going to deposit those two away. Uh, we're now going to talk to some people in here, see what this town's all about. I saw the Pokemon Migrations, if I'm not mistaken. There's a swarm of Abra in Route 9. The DVs of my Rattata are off the charts. There's a man in Pyrite City who can tell you the DVs of your Pokemon. Pretty cool, huh? My Machop just learned how to use Drain Punch. I didn't even know that move was in this game. Uh, I mean, I didn't even know that move was in this region. Elder, she burned me. A Charmeleon scorched my oddish. So it sounds like that the uh, gym leader of this town, which is Copper Town, worth more than a penny. Seems like the gym leader of this town is a fire type trainer. Team Quarry is full of ignorant twats who blindly follow a crazed man. I heard there is a secret tunnel somewhere in Copper Town. The main reason that we're here is because we need to buy some Pokeballs. Uh, quite a lot of them, I'd say. We'll buy another. Okay, let's go. That's that. Okay, let's talk to this person. The guards in that building, in the buildings that surround this town, are very suspicious of new faces. They're trying to keep out people from Pyrite City. Rocky Point is one of the few places left untouched by humans. It would be a terrible thing if that land were disturbed. Hi, do you have Psyduck? Want to trade it for Ghastly? Okay, that's pretty cool. You get one, trade it with me. Oh, I do have a Ghastly because I caught one in um, the forest. Just so, just like I had the Abra in that trade. Um, so yeah, anyway, let's see. You there, Halt. Do you have identification? No. You might be from Pyrite City. We have direct orders not to allow anybody associated with that Loserville out of Copper Town. For safety reasons. Yeah, that's it. Stay in the city while we investigate you. Don't you dare try and sneak out. So it looks like we can't leave. Ah, uh, let's talk to this guy. I wish Pyrite City and Copper Town could get along. I have relatives living in Pyrite City, but can't visit them since Pyrite City blocked the entrance from Copper Town. Flying on the Pokemon is the only way to get in from there. Dear Grandpa, how are things in Pirate City? I had to journey all the way to Rocky Point to teach Fero how to fly. Hopefully Fero gets this letter to you. Love, Pete. Fero! Okay. I'm practicing my silly walk because I failed to jump over the matchboxes. Right. Close until further notice. Ministry, ministry of Silly Walks. That's a bit weird. Um, I'm assuming that's going to be another blockade. Uh, what's in here? I wish there were more hacks of Pokemon Red. That's very true. That'd be great. I'm a fan of the flashy graphics of the Gen 3 hacks. That is true. The Gen 3 hacks do, do usually look good. Uh, secret door. Yes, I have one of those. It leads to the gym. I'll let you use it if you help me out. As you might know, already know, Pyrite City despises Copper Town folk, so they blocked off the path south of here. That leads into the city. The only easy way for us to get there is to fly in from above. If you can teach me how to fly, I will let you use my secret door. Perhaps bringing me an HMO2 will do the trick. Okay, another nice little quest thing. That's the nice thing I've noticed about this game. It seems to be a lot sort of more questy things, a bit more RPG elements, you know, that's only then the early games at least, I'm pretty sure that it 
ramps up a bit when you get into later gens. Our kids never stop playing games. However, our eldest daughter is Coppertown's gym leader. Interesting. We love playing we love playing Pokemon ROM hacks. Good. I'm playing Pokemon Prism. I'm blown away. So a little shout out there to Cool Boy Man's other hack, um, which we will eventually which I will play, uh I've spoken to you at some point. I don't know what time yet. Foo 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 foo. A shrubber you are not. I would walk away if I had legs. Copper down Pokemon Gym. Eda Elder, the fairy eyed woman. I can't figure out how to get into the gym. If only I could jump as high as LeBron James, then I could get over this wall. So that's obviously why we need the secret door from the building below in order to get into that gym, which is blocked off. Uh, what else? This is the outpost, okay, and you. I'm such a rebel. The sign says not to stand on this rectangular path, but I'm doing it anyway. Oof, I feel strange all of a sudden. There's a voice in my head. Ack! Make it stop! <laughs> Kanye, we meet again. So, we meet again. Those who walk upon the rectangular path shall pay. <laughs> so this is like a little callback to the start of the game. Um, again, we're going to face off against question marks. Who's got a fluffy at level 25? So that out speed type so Pikachu, probably. But we'll use Thunder Wave because it's a good start. It uses Takedown. Jeez. Okay, it's gonna yeah, it's gonna get hit by Recon. That's what I thought. So we're gonna go to Weeping Belt because we're gonna resist some of that electric attack. Fluffy is fully paralyzed. Sweet, that is why you throw on that. You just take down once more. We'll keep up the vine whips just to keep this uh, tape ticking over. I probably should have bought some Potions. This could actually be a lot tougher. I, don't, I have no idea what level his Pokemon are going to be. I'm going to risk this because Cut does miss. But it doesn't miss this time and Fluffy is down. Okay, that's good. We can build up to level 24. That's nice. It's a nice little thing to have. Okay, we've got a Haunter Drat. Okay, I'm going to try and I'm gonna lick. Don't paralyze me. Yes, it works. Okay, good. Um, wait. Oh, Dark is not effective against Ghost. Which means Radicate is useless. Pikachu is, you know, is... Let's see how much this does. Do something. Okay, it's not a lot. Sleep might be my best hope here. Let's... Three turns of sleep. I'm gonna say it's yeah, okay. Oh, okay, it's woken up. That's bad news for me. Uh, yes, get the crit hit. That's nice. It's used confuse ray. Come on, fight through the confusion. Yes. Ah, oh, it doesn't it doesn't affect. Damn. Come on. Okay. Ah, oh, it's paralyzed me and it's confused. Yes. Come on, work. It does work. Sweet. Okay, uh, now we are getting out of you and we're going to growl. Okay, yes, yeah, still asleep, still asleep, that's always good. Come on, Ember. Let's see. A little bit more. Can't be too much more now. This is a tough battle. Okay, uh, we're going to use Bite now because I reckon it's going to. Good. And it wasn't very effective. I was right about dark types against ghost types. Okay, good. I always forget about the new types. Zero. We're gonna go to Pikachu. I don't think I'm gonna outspeed him is the issue. I might do. And if I do, I can get Thunder Wave on. Uses Fury Attack. It misses! Yes! It's paralyzed. That's sweet. It's very good. Thunder Shot. Come on. Yes! Do some damage. Yes, okay. Just keep him Pikachu. Keep keep doing that damage. Good. Down to half. Fully paralyzed. This is beautiful. Okay. Use a fury attack. I'm, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm gone. Yeah, I'm gone. That doesn't matter. I'm faster now. So eradicate should be able to take him out with a single swift. Yes. Oh, that was tough. 
Well done, well done team. Okay, we were under leveled there, and um, that was surprising. We got no polka dolls for winning that. You made the voice go away. You can have this for helping me. We got the bubble ring. I'm still a rebel. No walking on the rectangle on the rectangular path. Okay, let's see what the bubble ring does. Uh, quickly, a teal ring that boosts defense against special attacks for your Pokemon. Okay. So that's defense against special. We've currently got defense against physical. Um, anyway, we're going to see what the Copitan Outpost is all about. I may look small, but I'm in charge of this outpost. Here, let me help you out. I dug a tunnel under the city so people like you can get past those stupid new guards. You can thank me later. Okay, well, I think that is the half hour mark of this video. So, I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's been certainly an interesting one with lots of battles, um, a few new Pokemon. We've reached a new city. Um, and yeah, no, I've, I've enjoyed it. We've obviously got to now uh, see where this path takes us. Hopefully, it'll take us somewhere, uh, maybe towards Rocky Point, when we can use Fly on. None of my Pokemon can use Fly. Another great point to mention. Had not thought of that. Okay. Okay. Well, we're gonna. Enjoy it's gonna be fun nonetheless. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this episode, and I hope to see you on the next one where we're gonna explore that underground path. And uh, yeah. So have a good one.